Well, good morning, everyone, or good evening, or good afternoon, or whatever time it is, where you are. Thank you very much for popping over just to check out my latest wee recipe. Now, today we're going to have a go at making the almighty <laughs> Knickerbocker Glory. If you've never heard of a Knickerbocker Glory, it's basically quite a big um, ice cream sundae. And in this country, we still have them, but they're getting fewer and fewer restaurants called Wimpy. Now, I remember when I was a young girl, and me and my mother and my dad would go to Wimpy quite often and sometimes I'd be treated to a Knickerbocker glory. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I absolutely love them. You know, they're not fancy. There's nothing fancy in this at all. The only elements you have are obviously your ice cream, your chopped fruit. I'm going to make a strawberry or raspberry sauce, a chocolate sauce and whipping up some cream. So it's really, really simple. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a big, big thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. So thank you all once again, guys. It does mean ever so much, as you know. And I'll leave a link to my Patreon just underneath this video if you want to go and check it out for yourself. So these ingredients will be enough for four sundaes if you're making them for four people. All of the ingredients along with their weights in grams and ounces will be in the show more box just underneath this video. So the first thing I've got there is three tablespoons of icing sugar or confectioner sugar, 110 grams of white sugar, 200 ml of double or heavy cream, 200 grams of chopped fruit. Now I'm just using some chopped grapes and some chopped pineapple and a few cocktail cherries. I've also got some canned raspberries but I ended up not using them. I've got 200 grams of fresh raspberries, 50 grams of flaked almonds, two Cadbury flake bars which I've just halved through the middle, one tablespoon of golden syrup, 60 grams of cocoa powder and obviously you'll need your ice cream. Cream. Now it's up to you what flavours you use. I'm going to be using vanilla and strawberry. So this is the syrup that I'm using and this is the cocoa powder that I'm using. Now this one is quite dark and bitter so if you don't like it so dark and bitter you can use whatever one you like. And these are the wee cocktail cherries I'm using. These are maraschino and they've got a lovely strong sweet flavour. And this is my chopped fruit. Like I said, I'm just going to use some pineapple and some grapes and a few of those cocktail cherries. Now, if you don't know where to find the cocktail cherries, if you're in your supermarket, you'll get them next to the sweet condiments like the jars of cranberry sauce and things. And two flake bars halved in the middle. And this is the ice cream that I'm using. Nothing fancy, just some strawberry and some vanilla. Now I'm going to be making a brittle, but this isn't at all traditional. So you can skip this if you want. So the first thing we're going to do is get a pan on to a low to medium heat. Pop in your golden syrup. And then two of teaspoons of your white sugar. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt and you just want to heat these together until your sugar is melted. Once your sugar is melted you can add in your flaked almonds. Just give them a gentle mix round in the hot sugar just to make sure your nuts are all coated in the syrup. And then quickly pop that onto a lined baking tray. You want it quite flat and even. And you want to bake this in the oven for between 5 and 10 minutes until it's starting to colour around the edge. Once it's ready, bring it out of the oven and let it cool. Meanwhile, you can go on with your sauce. So I'm going to do my raspberry sauce. Really easy. Just pop your raspberries into a jug and get your blender. And you just want to blitz, blitz these until they're nice and smooth. Only take you seconds. And once it's nice and smooth, you want to pass your puree through a sieve to get rid of all the seeds. You want it nice and smooth. So just, just discard your seeds and you'll be left with this. Now that's going to be quite bitter and quite sharp. So we're going to sweeten it up with a wee bit of icing sugar. So pop in two tablespoons of icing sugar and that's your sauce done. You just pop this into the fridge until you're ready for it. And by now your brittle will be ready, but just now it's quite soft. So if you leave that to the side till it cools, it'll go nice and hard and it'll peel off the paper quite easy. 
So now we're going to do the chocolate sauce. So put the rest of your sugar along with 250 ml of water into a pan. You want to dissolve the sugar and then add your cocoa powder, whatever one you've decided to use, and a wee dash of salt. Just bring all these together and heat them and they'll go nice and thick and glossy like this. And again, just leave this to the side to cool until you need it. The last thing we're going to do is our cream. So pop your cream into a bowl and add a tablespoon of icing sugar and some vanilla just to sweeten it up. And just whisk this until it's nice and thick like this. And now all we've got to do is assemble. So grab yourself a tall sundae glass. And I'm just going to start off by adding some of my chopped fruit to the, bro the bottom of the glass. You can do this in any order you like. And then some strawberry or raspberry sauce and then some ice cream. A wee bit of that peanut or almond brittle. And then some chocolate sauce and then some more fruit. And then some vanilla ice cream this time. And I'm going to pop another wee bit of brittle on, some more fruit and then the strawberry ice cream. And I'm going to finish that with a good scoop of fresh cream on the top. And I'm just going to add a wee bit of the raspberry sauce, a maraschino cherry and half of that flake. Now I don't know what happened to the camera here but <laughs> I tried to show you a side on view. Now look at that, doesn't that look amazing? and not a million miles away from the original. But like I said, the brittle, the almond brittle that I used would not have been in the original, but I just like to add a few nuts and it makes it a wee bit fancier as well. And let me tell you, that was absolutely delicious. Easy, easy, easy recipe, a brilliant one to get the kids involved in as well. And I don't know anyone that doesn't like ice cream. <laughs> but like I said, you can use any combination you like, whatever ice cream you like. I just think the strawberry and vanilla ice cream goes really well, you know, with the strawberry sauce and the cream. So yeah, let me know if you decide to make this one for yourself. And as usual, Thank you very much for joining me and I will catch up with you during the week and I hope to see you next for my shopping haul. So until I see you next, guys, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you very, very soon. So bye for now. Bye now.